Once a woman brought her diabetic daughter to a saint. She wanted the saint to instruct her daughter to stop eating sweets. The reasoning was that the spiritual influence of the saint would be more effective in persuading her child than she had been. But to her surprise, the saint replied, please come back in two weeks. The mother was upset. Why can't you just tell her now? Every chocolate and piece of cake she eats is ruining her health. The saint was understanding, but still replied, come back in two weeks. She didn't understand why, but having no choice, the mother complied. Two weeks later, mother and daughter returned. The saint received them, and without further ado, said to the girl, oh daughter, it's unhealthy for you to eat anything that contains sweet. So, from now on, no more chocolate, ice cream, and cake, okay? She swallowed hard and said, Yes, sir, I'll do as you ask. Mother was elated. As they were preparing to leave, she asked, Sir, why did you wait two weeks to instruct my daughter as you did? The saint replied, I had to first stop eating sweets myself. At the time that you asked me, I was regularly eating sweets with my meal. Before instructing your daughter in something, I had to do it myself. If I didn't, I would be a hypocrite, and my words would have been empty and without purpose. So the moral of the story is that words have a greater influence when the weight of a right example is behind them. Right? Right.